Hello again, this is your host Pearls doing my Let's Play of Jut's Elusive Exhibitions and we are in Miniatures, twice north, which we were teleported to when we took a staircase and uh... I guess I started the room over, I closed my uh, program since then. And uh, these are small, I'm guessing we're going to go through a theme of small little tiny rooms or something. Alright, so I can't seem to probably get this Wraithwing out of this corner, and the Wraithwing's the only thing that's going to be able to kill the Rattler, it looks like. I'm sure as heck not going to convince the Water Skipper to go on to the land. So let's convince the Water Skipper to, uh... There we go. We learned, I think I did that last time with the Vertical Preference. Let's do this again. There we go, and now, does this help us somehow? It doesn't... Hmm... Doesn't seem to... Well, it has to, right? So let's... He, gets, he does get stuck right there. This is positioned just so. One, two, three, four, and five away perfectly. So if I, I could go up here, and uh... That's actually kind of annoying. Um... Can I get you out of the way for a second? No, 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 this isn't what I want. I definitely want... I want to be able to like push him down like that, but I don't know if I'm going to need the Water Skipper alive. Can I do this without the Water Skipper being alive? Probably not, because the Water Skipper needs to stand right there while I do all of this. Yes, there we go. I actually want to have a little more control, and I think I can do it if I do something like, uh... Crap. I actually want you to stay over here for just a moment. There we go, so I can push him. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Yes, yes, perfect. Okay. Uh... This I don't have a lot of control over, however. So it looks like I might need my friend the Water Skipper once again. There we go. Can you do something here? Do I need the Water Skipper alive for the rest of this? I was able to move him pretty far. Uh, actually, can I just kill the guy? Ah, uh, crap. Okay. There we go. There we go. Son of a... Well... Uh, pff, crap. So I need to actually move him entirely around the room now. I, I might be able to pull this off anyway because of uh, this. I can keep doing this sort of motion. Oops, no, no, no. This isn't too bad. This is kind of cute. And I can just keep moving him back and forth. There you go. Oops, you can go ahead and go over there. And I went out and I stab you. Beautiful. Okay, that wasn't awful. Uh, well, I just got teleported again. How's this working out? I'm just getting moved around? Alright, whatever. Uh, so what's the dealio here? I have... I should probably should check what this does. Closes my exit, naturally. So, with the ortho squares, I imagine this is a parity problem, where I'll never be able to have my sword perfectly in a position in which to take him out. At least it doesn't appear that way. Because I can't stand still, and neither can it. Alright, so first impressions are that I need to actually get this guy to eat this thing. Oh, come on, turn, please, no! There we go. I can just convince you to... That was actually closer than I anticipated it being. God, thank God for unlimited undo. Okay. Now, 
you're long enough that you can probably get stuck on yourself for one turn, that I just have to figure out exactly how to get you caught like that. See, like, if he were to, for an amazing reason, yes, perfect. And that'll reduce his position by just enough that I can probably start doing this. Okay, that wasn't also not awful. I am five minutes into this video and I've gotten two videos, or uh, two rooms done. I'll take it. Ew. Uh, okay, so I have to step on this thingy and probably carve a path. Alright, so what's my next move? You. Alright, logical says that the outside is probably needed the least. What's next? You. Take my same advice. Now this is interesting. I don't want him into this maze right now, but I do want to hit this. So I need to get across this room without touching this thing? Well, let's see, it doesn't seem too hard. Okay. What's next? I'm doing this stagger notation because usually when you're trying to make bridges across the zigzaggy pattern, since as far back as like King Dugan's dungeon has proved an, uh, an effective method of doing this. Okay. Mm, time to touch. What comes after this? I can plan ahead. So I gotta go from here to here. Let's do it this way then. Wait, what comes after this guy? You and then you? Alright. And then. Ooh. Uh. uh ick. And this. Okay, good. So I don't. I'm assuming this guy opens the middle again. Alright. So I don't want to touch him at all. Which I can't do. Alright, so that's a problem. So, I'm not convinced that these are bad moves. Like, I don't really see how they possibly can be. But this zigzag across looks like me if I go... Uh, are there any times when I connect back from uh -huh. here? Uh, from yeah. here to here? It doesn't look like it. So I'm actually going to burn my uh, downward momentum here a little bit to pull this off. Why not? Like this? Sure. It was this way, and then you were in the middle again. Perfect. And I will burn the rest of that. I don't really like doing that. One was here, and then I can move around this guy, right? Okay, I'm getting close. Then, hmm, can't get off of this one. So I need to preserve more of the spaces around. I'm convinced that the problem is still this... Oops, not here. Is still the moving across here. So I need to... So the path is around, up, down, left, up, and then down, yeah, I left, see. up, and then all the way to the bottom. And then I have to leave down this lower one. That's kind of annoying. So I need to preserve a lot of spaces around this particular quadrant and this particular quadrant. So I'm going to... Hmm. Maybe something like this? I don't know what I'm doing, actually. Uh, I can do this now. seems incredibly wasteful of my resources. Yes, it most definitely was. I don't do this motion ever twice, so can I do, like, this? To save me a little bit of extra? No, I don't like this really either. No, this completely cuts off my upper, my upper range there. Um, it does seem like this particular tile is not useful to me. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. <coughs> Sorry, adjusting my broken chair I found in the church and tent sale. It's great though. Don't judge me. You're all judging me. Like 
this sort of feels... I don't know. Let's just see what happens here. No, I don't like this at all. I need to be like... Okay, this gets me around pretty nicely. Oh, this looks perfect. Yeah, that'll work. And then... Then I can at least I uh, preserved my escape route. Excellent. All right, that wasn't too bad either. That was actually super fun. Ten out of what? Wait a minute. So I place a bunch of decoy potions down to move a piece of tar across the room, and then without being able to access it, or continue to place decoy potions, all of the tar has to die. Well, that sounds crazy. Uh, whatever the solution is to this one, it's gonna be real freaking cool. Or really tedious, one of the two. So, like, what? I have to be able to, like, make orbs that uh, continuously cut themselves across the the pathway here? That doesn't make a lot of sense, because they'll turn to tar, and that's fine. So they're not going to be growing while I'm setting stuff up, and that's probably not even necessary, considering there's only, like, nine. So it can, like, guide its its path a little bit, but this is just going to, like, destroy it immediately, right? I'm just going to throw some stuff down here while I like, check it out. So how is this going to work? It's going to grow, and then break, and then that's not going to work, because I need stuff, and I can't toggle through my clone potions in order to make this work any better. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay, so i got to find some really cool pattern. Let's think about this like adults. Scratch my beard. Alright, so... This is, it's almost like, all right, like bear with me for a second. If it kind of like grows in a zigzag, and then I have like something here, or maybe here, ready to go, so it'll grow like down-ish. Okay, so let's see here. See how it like. Then does what? See, like if this were to okay, if somehow this pot got cut, then what would be left? Mm. No. Well, yeah, if this spot got cut. Well, what would happen there? Let's actually do that once. Can I place place one more? What was I doing here? Yeah, that's this guy. And then, like, let's try this and see what happens. So if you get cut, what happens here? Because you're going to go down. Alright, hold on. What if you're over one space? Like, you're here, and you're here, and you're like... I don't know, where was it? Here? Whatever, let me just try it. No, you cut too early, don't you? Because you don't allow the growth to happen out. Yeah. Hmm. Just keep this idea sort of rolling. Because if, if the car has to be cut at the very last second... Where did I have this here? Like, there, right? Or something? Just, sorry, just see what happens here. Because this kind of keeps it growing in an interesting way. Like... See, okay, imagine this, like, from this line over, this this little button of tar is gone, okay? Then I'll, then this sword piece would 
destroy this piece, and then this piece would get destroyed. Like, in turn sequence pattern. Because, yeah, this is the unexposed edge, so all four of these spots would disappear, then all that's left is this 2 by 3 piece, which we know is cuttable. <sighs> Hold on. Let's see if I can't maintain this pattern for a little longer. What am I doing here? Is it just, just this, right? Nothing awful going on. Uh, I guess I'll... Okay, let's just see what happens, because there is kind of this weird, awkward arrow at the end that might prevent it from growing in the proper way. So let's just see what happens. I could just control... Wait, but I like this better. It's more suspenseful, okay? So lots of tar babies. I'm actually going to get ready for that just in case. <laughs> okay, so this is at least moving the tar to the end. Now this is the moment of truth. See, I don't think it actually can grow here, so there's going to be an exposed little button on the button. I don't know why I'm saying button. So this then, so it's going to cut, cut. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. How neat is that? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't too hard to find the solution, because it's actually like a pretty straightforward pattern, but that is still extremely neat. Oh, wow. So now... I get to play. Hey, let's... Okay, that was just... I, I really very much enjoyed that. That was super cool. Oops. Get rid of these guys now. Yeah. I don't know. They're like... It wasn't too hard to figure out because they're like... I don't know. You had to sort of assume that... I don't know. Eventually it had to be cut in a funny way and that certain things started to become clear. I don't know. That was still really neat. Uh, that was That was awesome. How many of these are there going to be? I'm kind of like scattering around this in a really awkward way. So, well, I'm doing good on time. Let's just keep moving. Oh, jeez. This... This looks less fun. Okay, so I have three decoy potions once again in order to accomplish... Not three decoy potions. This is a... I've reduced my decoy potion supply by a factor of three. Uh, but I hate working with rock golems nine times out of ten. So, all right, so quick observations. I'm trying to like figure out all the walls I can get them. If I can get rock golems to be kind of like where there's one here and one here, they'll like both get stuck on each other and won't come through these walls. So I probably would like to, them to shift up somehow. And I'm probably gonna have to do that with the help of, um, why not make this just an, oh, probably to give me not a lot of time to, to place everything. I am not. Okay, so the only exposable corner to get them even shuffling is over here. So let's just like and then move away, I guess. Oops. Yeah, and then oh. Then if I put a a mimic here or here, I think both would be fine. They should, uh, see, this is the kind of what I mean, where they're, like, get stuck on each other. Um, oops. Can you, there we go. Yeah. Had to get out of their little range for a second. So this is actually good. This is, like, a good starting spot. This made kind of sense. The arrow sort of gave it away, where I, I don't know if I should have this guy over one or this guy. Well, this guy isn't going to get any better, so just... Ah, oh, crap! Uh... I guess we just go to town. They're stuck now, so... Just do what we can, I guess. be as efficient as I can here, though it's not a straightforward task to do so. Come on. 
At least they're not brain. That helps a little, I guess. Uh, I guess you're fine here. Oh, boy, I don't know if that was the smartest move. I mean, let's, let's not do that just yet. Yeah, I'm actually safe here for the time being, so you can all just chillax for just a moment. Sure. Oh, crap. This seems reasonably efficient so far, though this is going to be absolutely awful, but I can probably do a little bit better. I can still move pretty freely here. Okay, so far so kind of good. Um, I'm not exactly thrilled about how this is turning out, but... So I'm going to have to do this, if I, even if I don't want to. Uh, this should be okay. Uh, crap. This sort of cuts me off in a way I'm not thrilled about. <sighs> yeah, I'm not liking this. Well, this is uh, more messy than I expect from a jet puzzle, honestly. Back up a few turns. This might not even be the right way to do this. This, however, is sort of nice. Sort of. At least, like... I have so much wasted space here. I'm going to start attacking this from the other side. I don't really have a whole lot of choice on this matter. Am I completely blocked off at this point? This guy is, so that. Okay. Alright, so let's. Let's back up here. I, I like incredibly little about how this is going. So let's just. Try again fresh. I, I think this guy's okay. And actually, I, I, I am not uh, unhappy about how he... Uh, actually, I'm sort of unhappy. It's, I like... Okay, that 
that's sort of nice. Can you move across that border? Because that's kind of a problem if you can. You guys are fine there. Oops, let's get me some more breathing room here. Okay, with how that turned out, that's pretty reasonable usage of space. Let's see if I can keep that going. This is getting a little more messy. This is less comfortable for me. You guys stay there. I'm going to let that be a barrier for your progress. Time. Oof, not cool. This isn't quite perfect. Man. I thought that was actually really clever, but it wasn't. Because now that guy's just stuck. Alright, never mind. You, uh, how about just one of you stay up here while I. Yeah, whatever. Um. Probably not going to be that lucky. You, you, you stay up here. You come with me. Yeah, you're fine there. Just chill. Okay. Um, this is still not my favorite puzzle. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, I mean, it's all right, but it's there we go. That's not bad use of space either. I'm getting really cramped in here, though. Man. <sighs> really cramped. off my side of the room completely. I can't use that. This is just not pleasant. Let's back up a little bit. Yeah, get stuck over there. That's great. Uh, I'll deal with it later. Uh, I don't want to do that just yet. Sure. Okay, this is getting a little better. Well, oh, I'm even on the right side of the exit. Okay, uh, I have a, a better feeling about all this. Okay. 
Okay. Now if I can just... Beautiful. Okay, well that was kind of tedious. Anyway, um... Moving right along, jeez. Glad I saw the actual part of the puzzle. Ooh. For this room, you are assigned the role of a mimic. Remember that you are invisible to monsters until you kill one. That's interesting. Uh, all right. I don't even know what to say to that. Okay, so this cuts the... Mm. Whatever, what happens here? So can I not... What's the point of... <laughs> oh. So the point of this is to... Kill, find a way to kill the, the mud and gel combinations without actually causing anything to happen. So, can stuff be alive without... So if I don't kill it, am I okay? So for example, am I... Yes, that's interesting. But this is obviously problematic. So, I am not looking forward to this. Uh, <laughs> how am I doing on, like, rooms? I've, like, surrounded a decent number of them. Well, for all I know, this could be practically symmetric. I know there's a room here, because there's a door, but... I'm doing alright, I think. Um... Mm. Let's just try that and see what happens. Nope. Definitely. So... What happens if I do this? Uh, so yeah, about this... I need like a, a much more inside corner. Like, uh, not, not quite that, but like, uh, let's see what happens here. I think it will still have the same sort of problem, but yeah, at least one problem, right? Uh, like this. Let's try this space. See this? This this I can kind of work with, but it's not. Well, it's still going to be absolutely awful. I am not looking forward to this even a tiny, tiny bit. Ugh, this, yeah, I'm not, this looks really tedious. Jeez. Like, like, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. This is gonna be awful. It's, Jet has, like, arcane knowledge of how tar stuff works, but, you know, there's actually, like, a countable permutation of, like, you know, one, two, like, assuming it's symmetric. Like, there's, there's all this, this is a very, all the variations of this, uh, so all the variations of this, there's like, you know, rows and only so many that I can count here that I can get them all together. Oops. But this is a, this is a, this is a black door, right? Yeah, god. Ew. But that doesn't make any of this mean that it's actually cuttable in a, like, a, a safe and responsible fashion. No, this just means it's pain. Pain on wheels. Because everything that you cut with gel makes tar stuff. So this will never work right. I'm just, I'm completely screwed.
Do I have to? Yes. They forced me to cut the door. Alright. No, not that. Is it? Yeah, there's like nothing I can really feel comfortable doing. <laughs> I'm just, I am totally just guessing at this point. All of these guesses are so bad. Oh, I'm invisible to all monsters. Oh my gosh. I am so dumb. So I can get like out of most of these problems as long as I can just cut stuff. I just need to be able to, you know, leave. Oh my god, okay, that makes this a lot less stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. I was not paying attention, and that's my fault. So there's some special way. Oh, jeez. All monsters. All monsters, pearls. If that's the case, I want to, like, see what happens if I... Whatever. Try stuff. Nope, this is not cuttable. Not like this. Okay. Nope. Uh, there's like, I used to know like the rules of, of of mud or tar cutting or tar blah, 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 blah. gel cutting. Yeah, they show up as useful from time to time. Let's try this one. Looks useful. Oops. No, it's not gonna cut it though. If I can't cut that corner, I don't really care. That looks like reasonable. At least the corners will cut. Let's try this. Mm. No. Gosh. Oops. Oh man. It's really. This is like weird sort of mazes of, uh, you know, I'm not convinced this isn't going to work. Not like, you know, this particular structure. If I just maybe work at it from two angles here, I could possibly be get out of bull. Technical term, I just made it up. Uh, so if I do... Crap. Can I... Okay, so this is definitely a cuttable structure, and I just gotta do it in the right order. I'm gonna assume this is part of the solution, but I just need to not be completely awful at this. Oops. Um. No. Nope. No! Crap. Uh, yeah, I wanted to do this, because I know it's cuttable. I mean, I guess I could do this. Let's see if that's any better. I definitely want to keep the edges like this, though. That's that's a certainty. Oops. Oops. Uh, nope. I had a better. I had a better time. Uh, let's, let's actually try what I was doing earlier, because that seemed to sort of half work. I'm running super long in this video. I don't care. Yeah, see, that causes a problem like right there. Okay, so let's go back with what I was doing, which was just... what was it, this? Nope. 
Didn't I? Didn't I do this way before? Yeah, I, th I swear I did. What was I doing before? Oh, crap. I'm still like close to a solution, it's just really irritating I don't find it. sworn I did it with with this right here, but maybe I didn't. I could have very well have been mistaken. It would not surprise me. Yeah, this isn't a proper cuttable shape, is it? Alright, so hold on. Super long video gets even longer. Wasn't this one, right? Yeah, no, no way. Let's just try it without doing anything. No, that doesn't make sense. Why would I want that? Ah, screw it. Let's find out. I've gone too long on this video. This has been your host Pearls. I will figure this out for sure on my next video. This has been this is really clever. I like this one a lot. These all have been pretty good so far, except that weird rock golem room. But whatever. Uh, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.